I'm lucky, man. I, I'm, I'm super lucky in my experiences. And, um, you know, I'm not afraid to talk about OU. I, I'm not afraid to talk about my experience there. It was, it was awesome. I mean, I wouldn't, I can remember on my interview, Coach Holder picked me up at the airport, and that's a whole other story, but um, we're driving back from OKC to, to uh, Stillwater, and I knew all about Mike Holder. But the stuff I knew about him was he's tough. Like, I, I don't know how much he gets the female athlete. Like, I don't know that yet. I don't know how big his heart is. I don't, I had zero clue clue that he was capable of crying. Like zero clue, because I heard he was like Iron Man. And he was at some point. Um, but everybody's got a heart. And I can remember on my, my drive, the first thing he said to, to, to me, which was like put me at crazy ease. He said, um, somebody told me you stutter. And I said, yeah, I do. He goes, well, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. And it just, I was able to be me from the first moment we were in that in that car. And then the next thing he said to me was, um, you know, I've been we've been watching you through your your uh, your postseason run with Florida. He goes, I've been trying to find stuff on you that I don't like. He goes, and the only thing I can come up with is one thing. And I said, Well, what's that? And he goes, You're a sooner. And I said, Well, I said. I can't change that. And I said, and if you were really worried about it, why'd you bring me here? And I said, um, I can tell you this, if you'll hire me, I promise you I'll be the best cowboy. And he just kind of gave me that smirk. And I, he just tested me to see how I would answer that because I think he knew that that was gonna be a big thing. And so on that drive, we just talked about OSU softball. And I think I, think I kind of shocked him some on what, on what I knew.